Good afternoon and welcome to episode 890. Your holiday stress may be growing, but I have a solution. And I'll explain more about what that is and also some pointers along the way, not just to give you the solution, because that you've got to get invested in, but actually some keys you can use as you go forward over the next uh, next couple of events. <laughs> I'll put it that way. So first of all, hi, thanks for joining me. My name is Barry Selby. Welcome to my broadcast. Um, I am an inspirational speaker, I remember what I said, inspirational speaker, spiritual guide, love and relationships expert, author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover. I'm also a passionate champion of the divine feminine, which is why I help women create balance in love, life, and business. And that also is what inspired these talks almost three years ago now, of course, uh, in Messages from the Masculine, Inspiring Feminine Heart. So I've been doing different things the last couple of days and broadcasting another group that I, wrote, I run um, called The Dance of Polarity, if you want to check that out reach out to me, I'll hook you up with that group. Um, and also doing some new videos for my website. So it's been kind of a busy couple of days, so I was a bit disjointed on what I was saying there. So let me just say again, these talks started almost three years ago called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. They are talks that are meant to inspire, awaken, and move you forward in the area of love, relationships, self-support, self-love, etc., etc. So today I'm going to talk about the holidays because it's been on my mind because I actually created a new course, which I'm going to put a link in the comments. So I'll just let you know ahead of time, I've got a special offer in the comments. Um, because this is an interesting time of year for people. I was actually on, a, on an interview this morning, which is on my wall. You can watch it if you want to watch the replay. So I'm not going to recap what I said there. But basically, this is a challenging time of year for a lot of people. It's a stressful time of year. Because there's several things vying for your attention and some things you don't want to deal with. So the things vying for your attention will be things like the crush at the shopping malls. I'm wincing just thinking about that one, so don't go there. But also the fact you want, I mean, of course, in Amazon is easier now, let's be honest, everything is shipped by Amazon. But it's still a challenge because you've got to figure out what to buy for everybody, what to do for everybody. If you're doing stuff for Thanksgiving, you've got to travel, plan to go see family, sit around the dining table, have all these challenges show up. And it's going to be a real pain at times. Now, the intention is going to be for joy, happiness, celebration, merriment, etc., etc. But why doesn't it always end up that way? Now, I come from England, so we didn't have Thanksgiving. Surprise, surprise. We had Christmas, which is kind of the same thing because you have turkey at Thanksgiving, where I come from, we had turkey at Christmas. Whereas in America, they usually have ham or some other things at Thanksgiving at Christmas. So you have, for the, you, the Americans tend to have family dynamics happening at Thanksgiving. And in England, we tend to have a family dynamics happening at Christmas. But the same thing's happening. It doesn't matter about the event, which is, first of all, we're not who we were when we left but we keep trying to fit back into that box. That's one of the stressful points, by the way, is we're trying to put on, so to speak, the clothes we grew up in energetically. Even though we left 10, 20, 30 years ago and coming home again, it's like we put back on the same clothes we had when we were kids. Now that's emotionally speaking, not physically, obviously. Well, I hope you think it's, ob <laughs> it's obvious. It's not something you do as a, an adult, but the thing is we do tend to put on those habits, those mindsets, those viewpoints that we carry on as a kid around our parents. Sorry, it's time way to go with that because I had a couple of thoughts show up. I was like, I'm not going to go there yet. That might show up later. We'll go there. Okay. So for some people, and certainly when I work with my clients, I discover this quite a lot, is we carry um, unresolved issues from our childhood and other challenges from our childhood with our parents, with siblings, with the environment we grew up in, with the school we went to, the neighbors, etc., etc. So when we go home, a lot of that unresolved stuff goes right in her face. Yeah, that was a great visual, I'm sure. <laughs> Not very good sound effects, but the thing I want to make the point about is when we have that happen, we have an opportunity how to deal with it. <coughs> now, <coughs> excuse me. If you've done, if you can go back to home for Thanksgiving more than once and this is still showing up for you, I would suspect you haven't done anything about it because it will keep showing up every time. And the thing about it is it's, it's kind of like the feeling we carry that if we just catch through this holiday and go home, I'll be fine. I'm gonna go home and see the family, suck my breath in and hold it for like four days and then come home again. That also adds to the stress as you may have guessed. So the thing is, do you wanna keep doing that? Do you wanna keep going in the, sp the circle, the spiral of repeating the same cycle every time you go home for the holidays? I'm, I've had my own journey with that because I've been living way overseas and I've been home as often, which may have been a blessing, may have been a curse because anyway, that's, that's another topic I'm not going to get into right here. 
no not yet just seeing it's coming up for another time so let me just emphasize this point so you get get where i'm going to get where i'm what i attempted to get to get to here is you don't need to be stressed at the holidays as strange as that sounds as I mentioned earlier, like rather going to the crush of the shopping malls and the parking and all the insanity, you do almost everything through Amazon, for example. So that's one of the things you can remove the stress. So that's a free tip. You know, like you didn't already know that one. It's pretty obvious. The other part also is that we, with with things, it's also making the travel arrangements. Are you going to fly home to see family? You're going to drive there? Or are you going to phone it in because you don't want to deal with it? Family is important for a lot of reasons, and at the same times, family can be challenging. I would say we all have our own experiences in family dynamics from when we were kids with grandparents, parents, uncles, aunts, etc, 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 that can be challenging to deal with when you go home. Again, that idea of putting back on the children's clothing you had when you were a kid because that's the mindset you readopt, the paradigm you put back into place of what you had when you were kids. These are stress points and when I work with my clients, a lot of the work we do is healing those past family dynamics. But at Thanksgiving and Christmas, it's especially when it shows up more vividly, more visibly, and more blatantly than any other time. That's what got me to create what I, what I put together, this new, this, new uh, this offering that I put together that launches on November 15th. Now, early sign up is beneficial, by the way. So what I've put together as what I'm calling is thriving through the holidays, because rather than stress through the holidays, why not thrive through the holidays? Like, what a concept. So I'm providing... I've got, I'm providing this, I don't want to call it a course or a program or a mastermind or a group. It's all of the above, but it's more than that. It's a support system to hold your hand going through the holidays. So you can go home with comfort, with support, with safety. So when you're around your family, when you're around siblings, when you're around anybody that challenges you, you have a resource to go to where you'll be safe. And when you're around your family, you can de-stress by just ducking out of the room in a way and checking in. What I'm offering is for two months, November 15th, January 15th, this, this program, I, again, I don't know the right name for it. I, it's, co it's called Thriving Through the Holidays, period. Um, I'll put a link in the comments and check it out, but basically what it is, provides you with, with support. And if you sign up before the 15th, which is next Friday, a week from now, I'm offering a bonus. In fact, I'm offering a bonus if you sign up and offer a bonus if you sign up early. Um, basically, I'm pretty much covering the cost of the whole course with my bonuses. So that's what I'm saying. You might want to do it because there's freebies in here, benefits for you. And I'm going to offer bonuses during the time together. We're going to have, uh, in just so you know what's happening, my plan is to have weekly gathering co um, video calls. We can talk, discuss things, figure out things, support each other. And a place we can post like a Facebook group. We can support each other, so, um, comment on each other. Even if you find out you're in the same town, you can get together and just like offer camaraderie to each other. It's a two-month journey. It's really a test drive of my work because it's a low-ball entry point, financially speaking. It'll support you through the holidays. Now, if you're thinking, well, I've got to go spend everything on everybody else, when are you going to spend something on yourself? Time, money, effort on yourself. This is what this is for. So the link will be in the comments. You can check it out. Again, there's a free bonus. There's a special bonus if you sign up this weekend because I want to get people in early. And there's also another bonus you'll get just for signing up, which are valuable items. So I'm recommending you can check it out. So yes, it's been a kind of a promo piece that I just mentioned at the beginning, but I want to make sure you take this point home. So this is a little home homework practice for yourself, even if you don't choose to sign up for the program, is can you navigate, in fact, my invitation to you is navigate through the holidays, the travel plans, the, the present, the gift buying, the cooking, the family dynamics, all different pieces, where every time you get a little bit triggered, caught out of place, you just center back to your breath. It's a simple practice you can do, and I'll be reminding people in the group to do this, you can, this is my free gift to you right now, is when you come back to the breath and you stop, close your eyes, center, Breathe in, not when you're driving, of course. Breathe in and breathe out slowly and do this for a few times and honor and anchor yourself in yourself. It takes the stress down a notch and that's the way you can be free in the holidays. So this is a quick like promo because this weekend I just, I basically got guided when I had the call talk this morning. By the way, again, watch the talk, the conversation, the interview I had this morning with my friend because she interviewed me, interviewed me about this, which is a, on my wall. You can watch it early on Facebook. Um, and I say about the Facebook stuff and the YouTube stuff in a moment, that you can get the support you need through the holidays. Holidays can be, I mean, on TV they're portrayed as being lovely and wonderful, but in real life, not always that way. My intention is to support you having more of the joyful experience than the stressful experience. If you want some of that, check out the offering I put in the comments, which is, which is basically 
uh, barryselby.com forward slash thriving. Check it out. Have a look. Again, two bonuses. You can sign up today. Sign up today. You get two these, both bonuses. If you don't sign up today, you only get one of the bonuses. So get them both. Um, normally, I talk about love and relationships, but because the holidays are so present right now, seeing the Christmas decorations showing up now and seeing all the ads on TV and in, in the media for Christmas stuff, sales, everything else, the pre-Christmas sales, it's chaotic. And I can feel that stress energy building. So I want to put something out now saying, don't fall into the trap. So I hope it's been of help to you. Breathing is one of those key things that sounds so silly, but if you do that a lot more clear, calmly, clearly, and slowly, it will help you get through the holidays too. And what I'm offering will help you much more easily as well. So I do appreciate you watching. Do appreciate you watching. We can watch my replays for all my other stuff I talk about. There's a lot more content out there besides this. Um, on my Facebook page, I do a daily broadcast at 5 p.m. Pacific time every day of the week, seven days a week. So this is what this is. This is. If you go to my, um, if you go to facebook.com forward slash Barry Silby, you can watch me live there at 5 p.m. Pacific time every day. The replays go to my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. You can like my page and watch them there. Although, frankly, more of the broadcasts, I should say, you can see all the broadcasts eat completely on the YouTube channel because Facebook doesn't show them all at some reason. They're there, but it doesn't show them all. If you go to my YouTube channel, which is Barry, which is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby, subscribe to my channel. There's a playlist on there called Messages for the Masculine. Links will be in the comments, as I mentioned. Um, my thriving opportunity, thriving offering. I'll put the self-love matrix in there, although that is actually a bonus. If you sign up for the thriving, you'll get that as well. But I'll put both in the comments, you can get some help. And if you want to reach out for a conversation with me, I'll put a link in there for my um, discovery session with me if you want to talk. Go into the holidays with your eyes open. Go home for the holidays aware of who you are now. So when you take that back with you, you'll be stronger. And when stress happens, breathe. Do those things, you'll get through the holidays easier. My offering will be even better, just kind of biased about it. But I'm recommending you take care of yourself. I usually do that every day and say, as always, please take care of yourself, especially through the holidays. With that, I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you again soon.